usually it's carbohydrates, mate. That's all it is. Now, you can get a slight increase in in, in triglycerides, um, a slight with exercise. That can happen. It's just the body going, oh, we need more energy and exporting it out. And that's not an, then it's not an issue. You should never, ever, ever exercise before you give a blood test, do a blood test, because it can actually confound it. So you want to go fasted without having exercised, then go and actually get a blood test. And then that will give you a proper reading, a baseline reading of your triglycerides. And if they're high, high you're gonna, you have to get, start looking. Is You know, if you're on a carnival diet and you're getting high triglycerides, then you've got mitochondrial problems. You're not, you're not able to process, and you'll know that because you can't lose weight as well. You're struggling with weight loss as well, many other things, um, or healing and stuff like that because you've got problems with mitochondrial respiration. Um, you know, so then you got to, you have to, sort of fix, like the cancer people do, fix their mitochondria, you'll have to do something similar. And then that will correct your high triglyceride levels if that's what's driving it. So it, it depends. You know, um, there are a lot of factors can can drive it. Stress can also, high cortisol, um, also things like, uh, well, Severe fasting can also increase your triglycerides. That's normal. That's just energy <laughs> that your body is actually trying to get out and to your body. Um, so there's a number of factors that can actually do it in a number of people. Uh, if you've got APOE44, which is a specific gene, they tend to basically drag in co remnant colomicrons at a much faster pace and re-export as at a much higher level um, their triglycerides. So if you actually do the test at the time that you've actually had a big bolus of uh, a food, like let's say you had a very late meal the previous night and then you go and do a blood test, you may be still pushing a whole lot of collar microns through and exporting a whole lot of, um, you know, you, so your VLDL, your triglycerides will be up and so will your LDL to some extent. So there's, there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, things out there that potentially, you know, how quickly you utilize that energy because of mitochondrial issues. So, you know, it's, mm, it's a much more complicated you know, thing to answer.